Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Fans of Bachelor Nation saw the ladies of The Golden Bachelor Search for Love with Jerry Turner during the first season of The Adored Program. Many of the other women developed lifelong connections with their fellow cast members, but only Theresa Nist discovered her everlasting partner in Jerry. There are two Golden Bachelor mini-reunions taking on worldwide as you read this. Nancy Hulkauer, Kathy Swartz, and Susan Knowles are now spending a fun-filled weekend in the sun on St. Martin. In a video that they made, Kathy and Susan expressed, we also miss our A in A.S. Can. We hope you won't have to work this weekend, April. The women are recording their good times and antics as they struggled to communicate in French, hunted for a grocery shop, and got lost while driving at night. Simultaneously, there was another Golden Bachelor display in New York City. For a girls' night out in New York City, Natasha Hardy, Anna Zock, Janie Dugan, and Peggy Dirkhol got together. The Golden Ladies, Aka's sister wives, had another lovely day of togetherness. Natasha wrote on Instagram after posting a video from their special night together. Moving across NYC was so much fun. Yes, it was really cool. We made it happen because we were determined to spend quality time together. We adore witnessing all of our Bachelor Nation celebrities have such a great time together, and we look forward to many more little get-togethers. Golden Girls have fun Susie on Evans, your girls' week. The Bachelor winner, undergone plastic surgery. She makes some quite open admissions in response to the rumors. For all the specifics, what's becoming of Justin Glaze and Susie Evans? Fans have been speculating about Susie Evans and Justin Glaze, who was a Bachelor Nation alum. Are they merely pals or are they dating? The two are obviously close because they frequently share videos on social media together. Recently, they joined forces with Sweetheart's Candies to create this situationship line of Valentine's Confectionery. Dentec collaborated with Susie and Justin on a new advertising campaign. In the hilarious video, Susie waits eagerly for Justin to kiss her, but all he gives her is a tongue cleaner. Regardless of whether they are together or not, their social media fans are undoubtedly keeping an eye on everything they do. Susie Evans responds to rumors about plastic surgery. Susie Evans was initially introduced to viewers during Clayton Eckerd's season of The Bachelor. She declined his last rose in the dramatic denouement and left unmarried. But the two got back together and went on a six-month relationship. He recently disclosed that despite his paternity litigation, they remain amicable. Susie is frequently asked about her appearance in addition to her relationship status with Justin Glaze. One inquisitive fan questioned the reality star about the plastic surgery accusations during a recent Q&A. Has she received lip fillers? Susie's response surprised me with how candid it was. In 2020 and 2022, she admitted, I got less than 0.5 ml, which is probably the smallest amount you can get. To be really honest, I find it really scary. Though it only lasts for six to eight months, it should technically be completely gone by now, but I believe it lingers a little. I think there's still a little bit in there, but I'm not 100% sure, she continued. Although I regret getting more the last time, I don't personally want to acquire any more because who doesn't like juicy lips? BachelorNation.com claims that Clayton's ex-wife was also questioned about having breast implants. Oh no, was her reply. She continued by saying that she might record a video of the really wild questions that her admirers ask her. Does Susie's decision to use lip fillers surprise you? Is it possible that she had implants? Post your ideas in the comments section. On Monday, January 22, at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern, 
don't miss the ABC debut of season 28 of Bachelor. To learn more about one of the early favorites of the Mommy season, of Bachelor, Sickness. almost a year after her son Oliver Brown passed away from an early birth, Sarah Heron announced that she is expecting twin girls. The 37-year-old reality, TV personality, and influencer announced on Instagram on January 4 that she and her husband, Dylan Brown, are expecting their first two children. She also shared a video of the two of them swimming and seeing a turtle. After then, the movie turns to a sonogram image on a refrigerator with a heartfelt note scrawled over the frame. Oliver has two turtles to watch over, wrote Heron, who aired on the venerable ABC show with Scene Low. As stated in her Instagram bio, the IVF warrior selected Rainbow by Casey Musgraves as the song to reveal her rainbow babies. Her pals from Bachelor Nation expressed their joy for the soon-to-be mother in her remarks, and they also congratulated her and her spouse on their new family members. My heart is racing out of my chest, and I'm getting shivers all over. The most wonderful news. One of Heron's competitors, Leslie Murphy, wrote, I love y'all, all of y'all. Sarah, the most exciting news. Ben Higgins' season co-star Amanda Stanton wrote, Congratulations. Gorgeous news, Sarah. Season 21 victor Vanessa Grimaldi continued. In an Instagram story on Tuesday, Heron unintentionally revealed the sexes of her children while talking about how her doctor's appointment went well. She also said that she had a blighted ovum, also known as a vanishing twin slash triplet, and that she had an empty sack outside of the two that were carrying her twins. She said in one story, F asterisk ek around with IVF long enough, and one day you might get multiples. Heron revealed her anguish in a follow-up Instagram stories post, almost a full year after losing her 24-week-old boy, at which point she unintentionally revealed to her followers that she was expecting twin girls. I just sobbed uncontrollably in therapy. Oliver's heavenly birthday is in 12 days, therefore I'm grieving for him right now, she said. It hurts so bad, and simultaneously, I know he's sending me these little girls to comfort me right now. She continued by saying that she went to a coffee shop after treatment and saw a book with the name Oliver on it, which she interpreted as a sign. She didn't realize she had revealed to the world what she and her husband are expecting with their new babies, until someone commented on her article with the words, girls. Apologies. The awful is over. However, we were aware of the sex of each embryo we created, she said. She then focused on the girls. Reaction, giving it its own Instagram story. Her son's birthday is in two weeks, so this is happy news. The reality actress announced on social media in February 2023 that she and her husband had delivered a newborn boy who lived for barely a few hours after birth. On January 28, Oliver Brown, our gorgeous boy, was delivered at 24 weeks gestation. Shortly later, he died in his father's arms, at the time, Heron wrote. The depth of our sorrow and suffering cannot be expressed in words. It is both heartbreaking and beautiful at the same time. He had long fingers, his dad's jaw, and my nose. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.